spring is upon us. And not only that, it's in full swing. The days are getting longer, but more importantly, our soil is starting to warm up to the point where we need to start thinking about planting outside. One of the first starter plants to make it into our outdoor garden beds is the zucchini or summer squash. Around six weeks ago, we germinated our zucchini seeds indoors. And then about four weeks after that, we moved those plugs on into four inch nursery pots. Capping off this three part zucchini series, let's finally plant some of these guys into our spring garden and set them up for maximum harvest this summer. Depending on where you live, your current weather conditions, and the size of your seedlings, many of you can skip the step of moving your seedlings on to larger pots like we did in the last video. In that case, you can begin right here, potting straight into your garden, just like the rest of us. Let's start by cleaning out our raised beds. Because at this farm, we observe no-till gardening exclusively, the bed is clean and prepared by simply cutting down all the weeds right at the root collar. Just work your way through the bed, cutting through the largest weeds, trying as best you can not to disturb that soil. One third of the bed is already done and it only took me about three minutes. This is an eight by two bed and should only take me around 10 minutes or less to completely clear out. Some of the weeds can be massive and there's a huge temptation to dig them out, soil and all, but you have to trust the process. In no-till gardening, this next step here is crucial. We must lay down a barrier, traditionally cardboard or newspaper, to suppress the ability of those weeds to grow back. Lay it on thick, ensuring that you cover every square inch of that bed corner to corner. If there's even a slight breeze out when you're doing this, simply wet that newspaper as you lay it down. This will hold it in place and make the process far less frustrating. Really concentrate on the edges of that bed as these are the places and the prime candidates for weeds to mount a comeback. Covering this 16 foot square bed only took about five minutes and it may seem trivial, but honestly, this step can save you hours of weeding in the future and a little bit of maintenance now means a much easier summer ahead. For an eight foot bed such as this one, we're gonna need about 20 liters of a quality organic potting mix. I'll throw a link in the description below showing you how I make my ultimate DIY mix at home. But if you're just buying yours at the store, hey, that's okay too. Grab your zucchini starter plant pot in one hand and with the other hand, straddle that stem with your index and middle fingers. Turn the pot upside down and gently shake that plant out. Zucchini plants usually pop out pretty easily, provided they're not root bound. Place your young zucchini in the place you'd like to plant it, pressing the root ball down firmly to hold it in place. Now, zucchinis tend to turn and grow in a direction. So I always orient mine facing outwards at the edge of the bed. This way I can avoid wasting valuable garden space. More on that later. Take your potty mix and bury that zucchini plant as much as possible. As we mentioned in the previous video, zucchinis send out roots right from their stems. We call these vestiges adventitious roots and they help the young plants get established that much faster. The more that stem that you can cover up, the better your zucchinis will grow. When the first one is planted, simply move on to the next one. And this brings us to pro tip number one on zucchini spacing. Conventional thinking is that you should be spacing at least two feet between each squash or zucchini plant. But as we saw before, these guys always grow in a direction and that direction can be of our choosing. So by orienting the plants to grow outward from the edge of the bed, we can actually get away with a one foot spacing between each zucchini plant. Having said that, I know how large these plants get and I generally space my zucchinis 
with around 16 to 18 inches between each other. And this spacing still allows me to place six or seven plants along one side of an eight foot bed. Continue along the side of the bed, taking care of both your plants and yourself if it's a particularly hot day. Flipping to the other side of the bed, I simply plant them the same way. Orienting the plant's growth outward from the bed, and then for spacing, I situate the plants so they sit in between the plants on the other side of the bed. Start to fill in those gaps on the other side, and the bed is really starting to take shape. About half an hour into the whole process, and the end is in sight. Each plant is spaced perfectly in a staggered pattern, and the bed that was once a disaster just 30 minutes ago is looking pretty slick and well-maintained. The temptation, especially on a day like today, would be to water immediately, and that would be a mistake. While watering is a necessity, we're not quite there yet. First, we need to cover the bed in and around the plants with a thick layer of organic mulch. Any organic mulch will do, such as grass clippings, shredded leaves or weeds, or even compost. In this case, I do have an abundance of coarse straw left over from winter, so that's what I'm going to be using today. Cover that bed generously with a 1-3 to three inch thick layer of your mulch of choice. Take your time and really cover every part of the bed surface. Once mulched, we can now water from above without fear of blasting that soil everywhere and undoing all the work we just did. It's quite amazing how in such a short period of time, we've been able to transfer this dormant bed into a summer squash powerhouse. Zucchinis are often overlooked in the modern garden. This is due to their supposed size constraints, as well as sensitivity to pests and mildew. If you orient your plants correctly when you put them in the garden in the first place, and maintain a proper pruning schedule later on in the year, this couldn't be further from the truth. Get those zucchini and summer squash into your garden this year Trust me, they're worth it. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind and I'll see you in the next video.